The Mirror Components command in SOLIDWORKS assemblies have four different options for the orientation. Let's see how these are defined. I've created a simple part here, and you can see how I have a notch in one corner that's a rectangular notch, and on the opposite I have a curved notch on the side, just so we can see the orientations. I've also created three separate bodies as arrows, so they're lined up with the origins of the part file, the X, Y, and Z, just so we get an idea of how it's being rotated. So I have a, a sample assembly here with the part inserted and you can see how the axes are aligned with the axis of the assembly. When we do the mirror components command and a mirror about a plane, we have four different orientation options. So for the first option, what well you can see it's a direct translation. It essentially makes a copy of this part on the other side of the plane and no rotations. If I go on to the second orientation option, what you'll see is it translates across the plane and then it does a 180 degree rotation with respect to the Y axis. So you can see this rectangular cutout here has now been rotated to the opposite side. If I move over to the third option, what you'll see is it now rotates 180 degrees with respect to the x-axis. So the square notch here rotates around to the opposite side here. And finally, as you would expect, the last option is with rotation with respect to the z-axis, which is the blue one here. So now the curved rotates 180 degrees up to the top here. So the question is, is it rotating with respect to the axis of the part or with respect to the axis of the assembly? Here's another assembly with the same part inserted, but you can see how the axis of the part file are no longer lined up with the axis of the assembly, just so we get a clear picture of what's going on. So if I do the mirror components for this component here, again, the first orientation does the direct translation, no rotations. If I go in and choose the second orientation, what you'll see is again we have rotation with respect to the y-axis and this is the y-axis of the part, not the y-axis of the assembly. So it follows the exact same order as the original one. The second orientation option is rotated with respect to Y. The third is rotated with respect to the X. And the fourth, the last one, is rotated with respect to the Z axis.